All right, everybody. Sorry about last time, but uh, welcome back for part five of the uh, Bruticus review. And right now we're going to be looking at Onslaught. Yes. So here's an Onslaught as he would natively come. It's uh, with his um, with the Bruticus box set that he came with. As you can see, truck mode with the uh, missile launchers there, which don't fire, and they can rotate and go up. It's very neat. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, as you saw in the other video, though, the fans tried to give him quite a bit of an upgrade. So you can now take this whole section here, which would normally be part of transformation mode anyway, and straighten it out like so. Pop open these sections here. And, uh, if you take the two feet, combine them together, you can just plug them in here, and that sort of just stretches out the truck bed significantly. Then, um, those two hand pieces, which also form the wrist for, um, Vortex's arm mode, you can take those and, uh, plug them right here, or the launch base mode plugged. And that's where you store them when they're not on everything else. You take this huge gun thing, which also served as a part of the launch base, and you can take the uh, thing that held blast off there, which forms the pelvis cover, it's like waist joint, and just take this, slide it over the top like so. Now you have that mode. There's also this other gun, which you can store it there on the side. Yeah, now, as you can see, it just stretches them out significantly, and it gives them quite a bed, and I already showed you can put Explorer, but you can also put, say, uh, br uh, Blast Off slash Brawl, or, or even Swindle, or any other, uh, any of the other bots, and that's pretty badass, but Blast Off fits in there, being the longest, fits in there very, very nicely. So yeah, this this set makes it like look more like the original uh, onslaught, which was very long and had the double gun. Now you can rotate these, and the guns have like you can go up and down individually. The barrels can. It's very nice. You have the missiles there, and yeah, and they can also form a launch base. Uh, there you go. Significantly. Badass, this one has become, like, longer and everything. But let's get him into robot mode. So just snap off uh, this to the side there. Snap it on that side, as you can see the handle. Put these to the side for now. Snap off the back. Remove these and just put these on the side. Later you can just have the other bots holding them. So, there he is, and... He's already basically transformed already. I said you want to base and put these out, and these would form the legs. Separate them. Pop this thing aside. Just lift and slide over, and make sure you peg it in there very well. Like that. Lift, and then just rotate these. And there you have his legs and most of his weight. Now come here. Pull this out, this section. Careful, as there's the new Bruticus head there, which replaces the old Bruticus head, which I have here. Personally, I really like this head. You know, you slide outside there. It's got that nice mouth vent plate. However, it's A, smaller and doesn't fit with the newer uh, parts, and B, uh, the other one, as uh, you'll later see, is on, it's on a ball joint. You can move it all around, but still like this head a lot. But, yeah, you just, when storing it, you got to carefully uh, stick these, uh, like, side antenna, like, carefully into his fist when you close it up, as this head is much bigger. But, yeah, for the moment now, just close that on the bottom there. Take his arms, slide them, and orient them properly. Slide arm, orient them properly. Pull down his head, and there you have it. That's basically the front of how his robot mode looks like. Now, originally, you would take this and form a backpack, a huge backpack, but 
the newer head makes it this extremely hard to close. Some people will still try to close it around. What I like to do though is just leave it dropping and rotate the head. So that way it kind of looks like a backpack with uh, radio dishes and things. And it also makes them like less top heavy as it sort of lowers the center of gravity a bit which helps out. So you get in holding them steady. And also uh, leaving these out also helps quite a bit as you can see. So let's tilt him forward slightly. And you come here and you remember this set part here with the weapons. And you slide this one off. And this one here, you slide that part down, put that over for like this mode, the onslaught mode. For the Bruticus mode, you can use this handle and you can see just like the shotguns. And fold this to the side there. Now you have massive gun. Massive assault rifle for the Bruticus, which, as you can see, bigger than most Transformers. Yeah, this thing's freaking huge. And you just use that as one of the weapons, or just fold it into this more compact rifle for the smaller guys. Now, take this one here. One of the first things you want to do is a uh, snap off this the waist piece and hook it back up upside down. This gives it some clearance for the arm mode. And rotate this around. Then you just take this piece here. And there, now you can hold this there, like so. Also, fold it forward like that. There, now you have that weapon there. Straighten the barrels. Like so, significant weapon power there, firepower. And you can take that gun and hold it there. His arms are kind of small, so they don't hold these weapons all that well. And the feet pieces, you separate them apart. You'll notice uh, that there's these uh, little pegs there. And you peg these behind, uh, behind them, like in the holes on uh, the back of his arms here. They don't hold together all that well, but at least you can store them there. As you can see, there they are. And, uh, yeah, what? So, lift this up a bit. There. As you can see, they're held on his back, but they severely limit articulation. Now, you can pop, come here and pop these open revealing like more missiles which is very nice and the fact that they have um... they have like a little holes on the bottom there makes them look like kind of rocket boosters like you know, maybe he can jump really high or something like boost to a higher area however it significantly limits articulation now if you look over here at say silver bolt who has the arm things there as well it's like on him, they don't as much hinder because they don't plug into the back of his arms. But uh, although this makes for a nice piece, it's like when on a shelf, it just doesn't, you can't really pose too much with him. At least not with uh, those pieces on his back. They hang in there pretty nicely, but it's like, again, you try to move the arm and uh, they can fall. This one there used to fall a lot. I had to tighten the... Uh, screw on the back there before as you can see there it goes falls right off but as long as you're not playing around with it it's like it will stay there yeah, push that up too yeah just close those back up there you go you can also just take these off and hook them back together and have like your own side pod thingies there, like a weapon emplacement thing, or even use them as a shield for like a cover fire for the little guys. Or you can put it this way and rotate his legs out and make him ride on it, like rolling thunder. Yeah. But overall, though, yeah. It's like 
very nice looking all together though. You can see. Like I said, I recommend pulling the uh, the one backpack piece to the bottom, which will later form the uh, chest of a uh, of the booty. Oh, no, there's light snapping. No, don't get out on me. There you go. Well, let's get the other guys in just for a uh, for a quick group shot. Yeah. So here we have Munitioner and Swindle. We'll also throw in there Vortex. Wait, no. Munitioner is Swindle. So yeah. Explore and Munitioner, as well as uh, Brawl and uh, Vortex. As you can see, there's uh, the other weapons, which they can also hold, but I'm not going to put them in the hands now. So there you have the whole Combaticon team. Yeah, there they are. And again, with the replacement of uh, Munitioner and... Uh, wait, Munitioner and Explorer. It's like now they all look different, and they look very, very badass all together. Now, as I was trying to explain earlier, before I got the phone call and battery issues... In the book that comes with these two, it says that Explorer was a scientist working on trying to uh, come up with a combination similar to the uh, Aerial Team uh, 1, which was like the Superion, and um, they failed. There was an explosion. The Colossus went crazy, and uh, two of the limbs, which would have been uh, blast, the original Blastoff and, uh, and Swindle, it's like were destroyed. The Munitioner was part of the second team, and uh, he had to take place at the spot, and apparently he's the one that is in charge of the main Colossus unit, serving as the brain unit. Whereas Munitioner would serve as the uh, weapons uh, system operator. So yeah, in its own fans project continuity, Explorer is the leader. But for everybody else, we got Big Guy Onslaught there. But yeah, that was the end of part five, and uh, tune in next time, and uh, we'll review the final awesome combined mode. Thanks for watching.